始めー How do you tackle big pressure meets or knowing that people in your competition have a bigger PR than you? That's, that takes a long time to train your mind, I believe, to only worry about what you can control. Like every time I go out there, I feel like I'm competing against myself. So I'm just trying to be the best version of myself as a vaulter every time and work on my cues. And if I execute correctly, then I feel like I can compete with anyone. For me, it's just kind of like I like to keep it loose and keep it, keep it relaxed and just uh, not think about that sort of stuff too much and just stick to my game plan that I came in with. And I think that's the most important. The, the times when you're the most bummed are when you leave afterward and you say, man, I had this game plan and I just totally screwed it up. Um, I try not to really worry so much about other people. I try to come in just super positive and just kind of focusing on, you know, what we've been doing. And at that point, it's more about just letting your body do what it knows how to do. Like going in there and just doing you. You being you and knowing um, for those bigger meets, looking back on some meets that you've been successful. It doesn't have to be a big meet, but just controlling that anxiety or that arousal, just doing it. I just kind of let them do them and I do me. You know, I can't control their outcome, I can control mine. You gotta reach your own full potential and do the best that you can possibly be with the variables that you can control. Right. You know, those are mouthful, but you can't control the weather, you can't control what anyone else does, how high they have jumped, how high they will jump, no need to even worry about it. Right. You just gotta go out there, focus on what you're gonna do, and if you do that, good things will happen. You can't go in there with wide eyes, it's easier said than done, with wide eyes, like saying, oh, these guys are so much better than me. You really have to uh, like expect to win. Going into a competition and not thinking that that guy next to you is better than you. When this guy's better than you and you're watching them, and they do certain things, and you say, well, maybe I should be doing that, then you're, you're, only, you're only hurting yourself. I mean, there's always, unless you're Renault, there's always going to be somebody with a higher, higher PR. PR. And so when you go in, it's anybody's day. The PR doesn't matter. Now, even when I saw Jack Witt jump in high school, when I was, oh god, I was, I've watched myself on video, I had the squeakiest voice. I probably still do, but whatever. Sean does too. I, I didn't see Jack Witt jumping for, trying to jump 18-3 as him being better than me. I saw him farther along in the journey. My friend Dustin, who's also an elite pole vaulter, he, he never watches anybody else jump during a competition. He faces the other way, he never looks at another jump, he never sees another jump. So that's his way to sort of just shut it out and stay with his own game plan. Just, so yeah. it's just Mary Saxer versus Mary Saxer? Yes. What's your favorite invertebrate? What? <laughs> what? I don't know what the heck that is. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Nobody does. What does that even mean? It's a vertebrate. Invertebrate. It's an animal or species without a vertebrate, so uh, without a spine. Uh, Need examples? Would it be like a dolphin? Dolphins. Dolphins have spines. They do. What's the word? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like anything that doesn't have a spine. I don't trust one thing that doesn't have a spine. Vertebrate is a species of animal that doesn't have a spine. No, oh, yeah, like a snake. Snakes have a spine. Their whole body is a big spine. So if they have bones, okay. they, uh... Oh yeah, fish have bones. <laughs> right. But human beings are pretty cool. Oh, invertebrate. Invertebrate. Okay, so no vertebrate. <laughs> just I don't spineless. trust anything that doesn't have a spine. Mark has me on this flying squirrel cake, but they have they spines. Have spines. So, he had me at this, man. I don't know. Oh, God. That's right. Jack so would pick snake and snakes have bones, too. They do? Yeah. I guess. I have no idea that. Yeah. So I'm going to say nothing on that one. Nothing? I'm sorry if you're a snake breeder or something. but Snakes have vertebrates. No. Oh, they do? Spines. So what does it? Think bugs. Oh. Worms don't. Butterflies. Ladybugs. Think of a lot of sea creatures. Like uh, jellyfish don't. Just sticking with the sea urchin. <laughs> Why? Cause the first thing that came to my mind. Yeah. Cuttlefish have vertebrae? I don't think, I don't think so. We'll count it. It's definitely not spiders. <laughs> uh, Let's stop right now. Yeah. Jordan's the only one so far to know what an invertebrate is when I ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a science major, clearly. No, that's right. Okay. <laughs> Is a crustacean count as an invertebrate? I think so. Giant they don't, squid. They don't have a spine. There's not a crustacean, right. but I like the giant squid because, because <laughs> it's either a myth 
or you're gonna take you're gonna take the uh, take the evidence into account and you're gonna call it real. <laughs> Some kind of newt. I'm not sure if newts have a spider. I'm not sure on that one They're pretty loosey goosey. Like a dung beetle? Can I pick a dung beetle? You're picking a dung beetle? <laughs> no. <laughs> because of the taco grip, an octopus would be kind of cool. There you go. I mean, so you're taking a taco. Taking a taco grip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if newt's unavailable, grasshopper. Grasshopper. Grass okay, perfect. I mean, ladybugs are pretty cool. Ladybug? Stop like Ladybug. Going with Ladybug? Yeah. I think that's Ladybug, favorite yeah. invertebrate. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> I love that question. Butterfly. Butterfly? I mean, it has some significant meaning to my wife, but not really much to me. I hate bugs in general, so um, generally I kill them. I don't spineless. trust anything that doesn't have a spine. Um, yeah, two more like questions. <laughs> so, so your favorite vertebrate? Sure. What would be a dolphin then, right? Sure. Animal with a vertebrae. Like I... <laughs> <laughs> we'll just say you didn't hear the in part. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Got it. Thing. Do you got anything to say for the vlog, kids? Any Hi. the hoot crew? Whatever you want to say. What's up? Um, no. Thank you for having me. I've always wanted to be on the vlog. I've been watching for so long. Hi. Uh, I don't. If you're just starting to watch these vlogs, they're awesome. Very I didn't pay her to say that either. <laughs> no, actually, I really think that. Thank you. Uh, a dolphin is a mammal. <laughs> right. and there's no mammal, it's an invertebrate. <laughs> just I don't spineless. trust anything that doesn't have a spine. <laughs>